What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Rust-Oleum Professional Striping Machine. But before we do, I wanted to say thank you to all the existing and new subscribers that we've been getting recently. I really do appreciate it. I wanted to tell you that we are going to be doing a giveaway. So once the channel gets to 200 subscribers, I'm going to give away a Titan Tip Guard and a Titan Spray Tip whenever we get to 200 subs. If and when we get to 500 subs, I'm going to give away a spray gun with the hose, a spray gun, uh, a spray tip, and a tip guard. It's like a $250 value whenever we get to 500 subscribers. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Uh, maybe refer somebody to the channel, tell them about it, because at 200 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. And then at 500 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. And if you're wanting to get started, but you might not have a lot of money to invest, this might be helpful for you. So stick around uh, and just pay close attention to that. And then whenever we reach those numbers, I'll be giving away those details. I came across this video this morning and I wanted to show you. A lot of people are wanting to get into parking lot striping, but they're on the fence about the machines when they see the cost. Uh, and getting started, just getting started, is the most difficult thing. After you get started, everything else comes a lot easier. But just getting started is the most difficult part about getting into the industry. A lot of people... When they see the price of the machines, they immediately are resistant. They become hesitant. Then start second-guessing themselves because of the cost of a parking lot striping machine, a Graco, Titan, whatever. And guys, listen, I understand. You look at the price of this equipment, you look at how much money you have in your account, and you don't feel like you can do it. Listen, when I first got started... I was working three jobs. I was working three jobs. Whenever I first got my machine, by the way, I did not pay for the entire price of the machine all at once. I went through a credit union and financed it. I put $1,500 down, then I bought the machine, and then Asphalt Kingdom shipped it to me. I didn't pay the whole $6,000 up front. I took out a business loan. There are options, okay? I'm not in any way uh, an advocate of debt, right? But sometimes you need a car. You can't pay for it all up front. You get a loan. So if you're struggling with the price of the equipment, understand that there might be financing options for you at your local credit union. That's what I did. When I got my Titan machine, I started striping parking lots. I quit my night job and the job that I had on the weekends. Okay? I still work my full-time job during the day, and I stripe at night and part-time. As I build my business, I'm still working a day job. But I'm doing that so I can still take care of my bills, but also scale my business that way, when I do get into a position to jump into it full time, I won't be behind or I won't lack a customer base because I've made the appropriate considerations as it pertains to my service-based industry and the business that I'm running. Okay? But when guys see this machine right here, this looks attractive to the eye. Okay? Okay? It looks, it looks attractive to the eye because when you see this machine, you go, oh, it's $120. I could get the job done for that. There are some pros and there are some cons to this. But let's get into the video and then I'll show you what I'm talking about when it comes to this Rust-Oleum. Let's go. Okay.
Okay. I want to stop right here. First off, let's take a look at the lines. Okay. You see these lines over here that the back line is not even. Okay. You see these lines back here. Each one of them is a different length. Okay. Now, one of the cons to this, right? Everybody always thinks about the pros, but one of the cons to this is you can't really see that good where that nozzle is, where the paint is going to come out from the bottom. You can't really see it as you look at this machine. It's there. There's, there's, there's cons to this. If I was going to use this thing, number one, the first thing that I would do is I would at least take about three strips of duct tape and then add about four inches to the beginning of that line so that when I did start striping with it, at least the lines would be even, okay? The guy, um, as you can see right here, obviously he didn't pop a string. If I was him, what I would have done is started from up here, went right here, my 18 foot put a mark there. Then what he should have done is went to the other side of the parking lot and then went 18 foot south from the other side and then marked there and then popped a string line. That's what he should have done. But instead, as you see in the beginning of the video, that he kind of was just going over the distance, I'm sure, and then measuring down. But this is one of the cons to this is you can't tell that good when to start and when to stop. And obviously you can see that uh, because the, his back line is uneven. And these are things you need to think about, guys. If you're going to go try to, uh, if you're going to go try to uh, acquire a customer and use stuff like this, you're liable to mess it up. Let's keep going. Now, I'll stop right there. It looks like he does, however, though, it looks like, however, that he does have it positioned over the line. You see that? So you, you see the line right there, and it does look like that he's got it positioned over the line good. I will say that. Look, look, this is what I'm talking about. Look at these lines. You see how uneven these lines are? You see how uneven these lines are? Because you don't know when to start. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know when to start. That's why popping your chalk line makes all the difference. If he would have at least popped the chalk line, he could have taped he could have taped it off at least four or five inches with some duct tape. That way if he did go a little bit too far back on the line, he could at least keep all the tail ends the same length. These are all different lengths. You see what I'm saying? Let's keep going. See? All of them are a different length. All of them are a different length. But he can always go back and refix that. I'm just saying that it just is very time consuming.
it looks like right here though if you look at these edges it doesn't look like there's too much uh ghosting here on the sides uh i think this thing can get the job done if you've got like a little parking lot like this if you pop a string line and get your back lines even i think this thing will work I wouldn't recommend using it on like a massive commercial project. I wouldn't recommend on someone going to take on a massive project and then using this as their equipment. But it looks like it gets the job done and that there's no overspray. But this is this would be more of like a do-it-yourself kind of thing. This This isn't really... I don't think this would be recommended for commercial projects. I don't know. I haven't read the specifications or anything like that. I just came across this video today. But let's keep going, and then uh, I'll make a few brief comments, and then we'll uh, stop the video. Okay. Before I get off here, I want to say this one thing. I got a phone call from a guy a couple weeks ago that has a Graco. Uh, I'm not familiar with Graco at all. Uh, I've heard that they're phenomenal. Uh, the only kind of parking lot striping machine that I've used is a Titan. But he was asking me about a Graco because he was having trouble uh, learning how to operate it. And I told him, I said, man, I would do whatever I had to do to get started. Okay? If you if you have to hand paint the lines to get started, hand paint the lines. Tape the edges. Hand paint the lines. And do whatever you have to do to get started. If you have to use a Rust-Oleum striping machine to get started, then use it. Right, but just make sure that these that your lines that are on the tail end are all even. You see what I'm saying? So there are pros and there are cons. You can take this thing, probably with the paint, you could probably take it under about two hundred bucks and then go stripe a parking lot. But as you can see right here, it's got a lot of overspray. But uh but I wouldn't go take this thing out on a parking lot with 50 or 60 lines. I, I wouldn't do that. But it does look like it might be something that you can use uh, to kind of enter in, to get a couple of pictures, to get a couple customers. But I would, I would definitely pop a string line and then tape off the south edges for sure before I use this thing. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video.